You are so tall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd love for you to t talk just a little bit about the reason that you were driven to write your book. Just, just for a couple sentences. Vicky's asked me to speak briefly about why I wrote the book. Well, when I'm speaking, that takes about six hours, so I'm going to keep it very, very short. Why did I write the book? I can uh, trace this book back to age five. There's been some amazing stories told here today. And at age five, I was also abandoned. At age 10, I met my father for the first time. Uh, age 16, I had to go to uh, have enough money, get my driver's license, and leave home, which I did. At age 20, I joined the Army. I spent two tours of an ex-Army Ranger. Thank you. Thank you. And all of the amazing people who's doing the work in the veterans thing, so thank you. Um, so the purpose has always been what's driven me, the passion and the purpose. So in 1991, I started using the book in my consulting practice. I met uh, Jack Canfield at a book event, and he says, Jim, he said, you got one thing missing. You're not an author. I said, Jack, I do not want to be an author. He said, I read your material, put a cover on it, sell it, and Rick Frischman first launched my book in 2007. Met Vicki, and we went and did a relaunch in, uh, what, May? May of this year? I think it was May. And uh, number one bestseller, and uh, so it is all about purpose, passion, integrity, and the wonderful stories that's been told today for everybody in this room. You should be very proud of what you've accomplished. Thank you very much.